first one is think that the a good standard of life is the one who allows you to lead a, a quiet life without problems. Good quality of life always has to take into account not just the whole person, but certainly the whole system. First of all, to be able to uh, to work with what you love, you really love doing. So to be able to make money from your deeper passions. Money is not the most important thing for your life, but I think that family is the most important. When we talk about quality of life, of course, the first thing that comes to your mind is happiness, because that is really the key feature. It's not a question of happiness, uh, but it's sort of, you know, providing those essential conditions. That's something that we think about, really, until we are thrown into, like, study abroad situation. Quality of life means, you know, to find a sort of a balance between finding some type of fulfillment in your existence and instead also finding like some type of satisfaction of what are these primary needs. First problem should be to, uh, to answer the problem of primary needs and then we can discuss about the, to have something more. Then we have to also take into consideration what the average, what the common person needs. And that is obviously, you know, not just health and wealth, but also housing, uh, proper infrastructure, uh, a certain sense of security and public order, uh, and also leisure and culture, and certain welfare programs too. Food, the way that the individual consumes it, but then also the way that we've organized food distribution and mass consumption systems. Coming from a Mexican background, uh, there's a very strong culinary tradition in Mexico. Um, much like here in Italy, it's, it's based on uh, local ingredients because it, food is by nature social, which ties it directly to quality of life um, on both an individual level, a community scale, and then a national scale. You get back to community, eating with other people, the conversations that, that happen over food. So that reciprocal relationship between people, which uh, is fundamental, the basis of society. I can talk about food all day, I can talk about economic organization all day, but ultimately those things are only important insofar as they are necessarily social. The quality of life that you're seeking is not merely based on material things, but is also based on uh, the human relationships. You know, to be able to communicate uh, and to share whatever you feel, whatever you think, with other people is, uh, is a deep need for, for human beings. You know, I mean, obviously there are things that have priority, such as health, education, housing, uh, public order, infrastructure, but then have fun. And quality of life is something which sort of Western, or the most advanced Western societies have sort of uh, categorized. tradition is that there is a sort of an idea that happiness is uh, a standardized conception, that basically happiness is the same one for everyone. And of course this is absolutely wrong. Different is the quality of life for somebody who has nothing, and different is the, the quality of life uh, for a so-called developed man. If the opportunity to myself and the time 
to understand what was going really to make me happy. Once you go beyond these very basic needs, I'm not sure how much uh, it really comes into play. I don't know if you really need anything to be happy. I mean, maybe also something that transcends culture is that you're probably going to find happiness like within yourself, right? You know, sometimes people with lower expectations tend to be happier or, you know, tend to enjoy, know how to enjoy themselves more. I think coming from that kind of consumer culture, it's really important for me to strive to build a quality that I create myself. And for me, that's a lot more fruitful. happy of my life of my and of the quality of my life because um, I don't have economic problems. You get back into being critical of reality because uh, we're basically sold uh, what is quality of life. If you ask an Italian, an average Italian, very ordinary person, you know, what are the really important things for you? They'll say health and money. And they say, salute e soldi vanno a braccetto. So, you know, money, health and money go hand in hand. Money, it's for me not an issue. Money comes and goes. You know, I always had the money I needed and I wanted. But for me, material benefits, money is a consequence. It cannot be, uh, it cannot be the goal, it is the means. The consumer point of view is all about what you can buy. Outside of things, they're like selling you experiences, they're selling you lifestyles. It's really hard to break out of that. The possibility to everyone to have, to develop is at the best, is personal quality should be a good starting point. To have a good standard of life, of a personal satisfaction, you have only also to, um, to practice what you like most. Fundamental feature is how much you are capable of fulfilling yourself. And that to me is very much related also to what type of work do you do. You, know, you should try to find uh, something that balances off uh, the type of work that you do and the type of uh, enjoyment that you can find in the so-called free time. And funny enough, I'm 42 years old and uh, because I always uh, did what I really loved doing, I don't think I've ever worked. We're in this era now where we can, and I think one of my colleagues articulates this very well, we can describe almost any process on earth, though there's a, a vast swatch of knowledge that we have yet to come to know. but we falter so frequently, too frequently, when it comes to making meaning of those processes. To be able to make something that is so important that can really affect uh, my and other people's quality of life. They actively promote the well-being of of others because I think it's in in letting others live and prosper that we ourselves come alive and prosper. That basic level of respect for everyone else is going to be important uh, and having that for other people is probably going to help out your own quality of life too, right? So, And then striking a balance between that and being critical and being social, being political. I think quality of life is determined by the period and by the context, you know, unrealistic dream that would always get better and better and better. Uh, what is important for you at this very at the, the particular moment in your life? What we see, but we are the results of many, many things uh, that we have a responsibility because we had many more opportunities than, you know, another man. 
you, you cannot want to change, to preserve, to save something if you do not know it. And to give everyone the possibility to make his, his best to change, not to save the world, but anyway, just to change. So I think quality of life is really determined by, you know, who you are, what age, your age, what your expectations are, and how you can sort of make mm. decisions for the best. It's kind of difficult to go through life without having experiences that kind of shatter your world. And character comes with how you react to it. I think it's small steps. It's small steps.